everybody, it's Shannon here from Health Team Advantage Living Plus. Today we have Senior Fitness. It's a good, bright and sunny Monday morning, so it's a really good time to maybe get some movement in. I'm going to give it a couple minutes or seconds for anyone that wants to join us live, but you can always view this video after if you're interested in that. Um, I hope everybody had a great weekend, stayed nice and cool. I know it was really hot this weekend and the... Um, weather was just really humid so uh, all right so who is ready to get moving and so I have a couple things planned for you today but again I want to make sure you're prepared for today's exercise um, I want you to make sure that you're comfortable and not experiencing any pain so if you are doing any of these exercises and find that it might be too difficult you know maybe do the modified version. The good thing about these exercises is you are in charge of what you want to do. So go at your own pace um, and do what's most comfortable to you. And then also I want to make sure you have comfortable shoes on. I want to make sure you're not exercising in any sandals or anything like that that could potentially um, put you at risk for falling. Also I have my chair here. Nice and sturdy chair. No wheels or anything like that so it doesn't move out from under you. I also am going to be using two cans today as my weights for some strength training. So if you have anything like this available at home, feel free to grab this. Um, it's not necessary if you don't um, want to use weights, but it does add a little bit more. And then I also have my water handy. So always stay hydrated when you're exercising. You want to make sure you're drinking water before, during, and after any physical movement. So if you're just joining us now, let us know. Put me a comment in there. I'll say hello to whoever is watching right now. Um, but those are the things that you need for this exercise today. So, who's ready to get started? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to just start with a warm-up. And so what I want you to do is just start marching in place. This just helps get our heart rate up. So that way it can prepare us for our strength training exercises and the rest of our workout today. So we want to make sure we're warming up for a good 5 to 10 minutes. Today our exercise is going to be about 20 to 30 minutes of movement. So this is a great way to start off on Monday morning for a great week ahead. So again, I'm just marching in place. If you're following along, welcome. I'm Shannon. All right. So what we're going to do on top of marching in place is we're going to do some shoulder rolls. So what I want you to do is just roll your shoulders back. Make sure you're breathing. We're going to roll them forward, keeping that marching pace. If you need to sit down at any time, remember your chair is right there next to you. All right. Great. How do those shoulders feel? Good. All right. So we're going to continue mar marching in place. We're going to add a punch. But what I want you to do is just punch forward. Here we go.
Maybe if you got a little tune in your head, you got some music going, you can shift your arms back and forth. All right, we're gonna stay in this side to side, but we're gonna reach across our body to add a little bit more momentum to it. So here we go, reach, reach. Great job. If you wanna sit down for this, you could do this certainly with reaching without moving side to side. Make sure you're breathing. Sometimes we, when we're exercising, we forget to breathe. So I'm going to remind you of that and to make sure you're drinking water throughout today's exercise. Great job. Just a few more. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Ceiling. Inhale through my nose. Exhale through my mouth. Let's do that two more times. Last one. Let's do some arm circles. We're going to do one at a time. And again, if you want to take do this seated, feel free. You can do this seated or standing. I'm going to say standing for this one. So I'm doing some arm circles back on my right side. What I want you to do is rest and do the other side. Almost like we're doing a one arm back stroke. That would be nice, right, if we're in a swimming pool right now? <laughs> that feels really refreshing. There we go. All right, we're gonna do them simultaneously, one at a time. Great job. How's everybody feeling? If you're just now joining us, let me know you're here. I'd love to say hello, give you a little shout out. All right, we're gonna move both at the same time, just like a backstroke, here we go. Or I guess a backwards butterfly stroke. <laughs> if you help, if you if it's hard for you with the mobility in your shoulder, just go to whatever is comfortable to you. All right, three, two, and one. All right, great job. So we're gonna take a seat, keep up our momentum. So what we're gonna do is sit to the edge of our chair. We're gonna do some punches across. So I'm gonna come across. And across. Make sure we're breathing. All right, we're going to switch it up and we're going to punch up. So we're going to do four punches across and we're going to do four punches up. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, now you got it. Here we go. Great job. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Excellent job. So if you need to, grab some water. We're going to do a couple stretches as well. All right. So what I want you to do is we're going to take one leg. We're going to do some ankle rolls. So I want you to grab onto the back of your leg and just rotate those ankles clockwise. This is 
something you can do anytime. You can do this while you're watching your favorite TV show. And then I want you to go the opposite direction counterclockwise. Alright, so gently put your leg down. We're going to grab the other side again. Rotating that ankle clockwise direction. And then opposite direction, counterclockwise. Great job. And gently rest that down. We're going to stretch our hamstrings. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this a little bit better. So what I want you to do is make sure you have a nice tall posture. I'm going to stick out my right leg, heel to the floor. I'm just going to gently bend forward. I'm not going to come forward like this. I want to make sure I have a good posture. And we're going to stretch out this part of our hamstring. So the further you come down, the more you'll probably feel it pull. So just come to whatever position is comfortable to you. So you just should feel like a slight stretch right through this part of your leg. And you can, if you want to, reach up to the ceiling. And then relax. I'm going to switch to the other leg again. Heel to the floor. Posture is good. I'm just going to come forward just slightly. So where you should be feeling that stretch here in the back of your leg, which is called your hamstring. If you want a little deeper stretch, you can reach forward. Maybe with one hand. This is going to stretch us out for our some of the exercises for today. And then relax. I'm going to come back to the front. What I want you to do is reach forward, rounding up that back. And then coming forward, stretching out this part of your chest. Let's do that a couple times. Reaching forward. There we go. This feels good. What do you think? Last one. Coming forward and reaching out. Excellent job. Feel free to grab more water if you need it. We're going to move on to our strength training exercises. So, if you do have some cans of your vegetables or whatever's in your pantry, feel free to grab those. We're going to start out with a seated bicep curl. So whenever you're ready, at your own pace, feel free to join me. So what we're going to do is one at a time. We're going to curl up and lower down and then alternate arms. There we go. You notice how I have... Uh, still a good posture, so we want to make sure our chest is high, shoulders are back, almost as if a string is pulling you from the top of your head to the ceiling. Great job. All the way up and slowly down. What I want you to do is bring them up together. Here we go. I'm sitting at the edge of my chair too. You can also do this standing if you'd like. You can do this without the weights, with just your hands. Or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can maybe grab something that has a little bit more weight to it around the house. So here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. We're going to go on to work on our shoulders. So what I want you to do is just bring your elbows to the side. We're going to lift them up just like this. Great job. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can straighten out your arms this way. You want to make sure you're not bringing them up too high. It's right in line with your shoulders. Great job. A lot of the exercises we're doing today are great for functional movement. Here we go, a couple more. Three, two, and one. Now relax, check out those shoulders a little bit. We're gonna go back into our bicep curls. So here we go. All the way up. We're gonna do them together. Great job. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Who remembers what's next? 
Next, here we go. We got our shoulder raises all the way up and down. Great job. Four more, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna rest those for a second. We're gonna come up to the edge of our chair, reposition if needed. We're gonna do a suitcase row. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me better. Again, up to the edge of my chair, good posture. I'm just gonna come forward slightly. Elbows are locked into my side. I'm just gonna bring this up almost like I'm picking up a suitcase. My posture is good. We're just gonna row back. Excellent job. Make sure you're breathing. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great job. So now that you know how that one works, we're going to do that one more time. So in between that, we're going to do shoulder presses. So what I want you to do is if you have the cans or whatever weights you're using, we're going to come up and lower back down. Nice and gentle. We want to make sure we're coming just slightly out from our head, above our head. Great job. Four, three, two, and one. You can lower down if you need to. Shake out those shoulders. Maybe let's do a couple shoulder rolls. Just loosen that up, forwards and backwards. All right. If you need some water, I'm gonna grab some water really quickly. You know how important it is to stay hydrated? All right, we're gonna go back into our suitcase row. So again, coming forward, good posture, locking in those elbows and just bringing them straight back. There we go. Great job. How do you guys feel? Four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. All right, back into our shoulder press. I'm getting a little bit of sweat on. Here we go. Great job. Four more. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, great job. How's everybody feeling? I'm gonna set these down to the side. If you need some water, feel free to grab it. I got a little bit of sweat going on. What about you guys? All right, let's work on some of our lower body. So what I want you to do is we're gonna do a leg extension. So again, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can better see what I'm doing. I'm going to sit up with really good posture. Remember, something's maybe pulling us, a string's pulling us up from the ceiling. Make sure we have our shoulders back, our chest high. And what we're going to do is just stick one leg out, extend, and lower back down. So this is a really great exercise to help strengthen these muscles in your legs. This, again, is a great exercise to do when you're watching your favorite TV show or just, um, you know, sitting in your favorite chair. Maybe 10 of these would work every so often just to get you moving, you know? Here we go, four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna switch to the other side. Let's go. You got it, great job. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. So I'm going to come back to the front now that you know those. And we're going to um, do um, a sit to stand. So we can practice our squats. So squats are really good for, you know, getting out in and out of the bed, off the couch or our chair. Um, in and out of the car, anything like that. It's a really good functional movement that we need to maintain. So I want to go nice and slow. I'm just going to stand up and take a seat back down. Stand up. 
Take a seat back down. Great job. Make sure our chair is there. Nice and slow. Here we go. Four more. Four. You got it. Three. Two. And one. And we're going to sit back down and work on our leg extensions. I'm going to grab some water. It's pretty hot today. When the temperature is hotter, we want to make sure we're drinking even more water than normal. So we can stay hydrated and prevent becoming dehydrated. So, here we go. Leg extensions all the way up. Here we go. Great job. Remember, posture's good. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, opposite leg, here we go. You notice how I'm remembering to breathe? So I hope you guys are too. Four, three, two, and one. You guys remember what's next? Our squats. So here we go, all the way up. And slowly back down, making sure that chair is right underneath you. Great job, everybody. You guys have anything fun planned for the week? Here we go. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, let's take a seat. Whew. I'm going to try out some new recipes this week. That's what I have planned for this week. If you look out for our Living Plus newsletter, or um, actually the Health Team Advantage newsletter, we provide recipes in there every week, and I actually provide those. So uh, I'm going to make one of them that I've provided. So be sure if you're not on our email list, reach out to your health care concierge. And we can get you on there so you can look at those. Um, but I think I'm going to try the grilled Brussels sprouts this week. It's also been on, posted on our Facebook, so check that out. I'm super excited about it. Brussels sprouts are one of my favorite foods. All right, so we are going to move on to some abdominals. So what I want you to do is, again, sit nice and tall in your chair. We just got a couple more minutes, and then we're going to cool down with some stretches. So what I want you to do is we're going to do a seated crunch. And so I want you to place your arms across your chest. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me again. I'm going to sit up to the edge of my chair. Feet are placed on the floor nice and tight. We're going to just lean back slightly. You notice how there's a little bit of space right here. So I'm not coming back onto the chair. We want to make sure we're engaging our core. And then we're going to come back up to the beginning position. So we're going to come back just slightly come back up. So you should really feel that tension in your core, bringing you back up to the starting position. Excellent job. Our core is really, we want to make sure we practice that. That's a really important muscle. We want to make sure it's to keep strong. And this is a great exercise for that. Give me four more. Let's go. Four. Oh, three. <laughs> And one. So now that you know what we're doing there, I'm going to come back to the beginning and we're going to do what I've done in the past, which is one of my favorite exercises, um, is some wood chops. So you can use your weights if you want to. I'm just going to use my hands, but I want you to reach up, turn to the side. We're going to do this on either side. But I really like this exercise because it really helps with our core strength and you know if we're putting up groceries into the cabinet this is a good one to help you know with that functional movement too just so we can maintain that strength and flexibility great job four more four three two and one all right opposite side let's go all the way up 
and cross our body. You got it. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take a sip if you need it. We're going to do back to our crunches. I'm going to stay forward. We're going to lean back. Come back to the center. Let's go. Four more. Oh, she got it. This is tough. Three. Two. And one. Let's finish out with our second round of wood chops. Let's go. All the way up and across. Great job. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, last side. Reach up and come across. You want to make sure you're twisting in that torso. Really engaging that core. Great job. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. And one, excellent job. So we're gonna do a cool down just to wrap up today's exercise. So I hope you found this was a really good movement break for you just to start out your Monday and um, give you a good start to your week. And so what I want you to do is just, let's do some shoulder rolls. I really love shoulder rolls because a lot of us carry some tension in our shoulders, we're stressed, maybe feeling anxious and so, this just helps with that flexibility and that mobility in our shoulders. Helps relieve some of that tension. <sighs> All right, let's move them forward. All right, I want you to take one arm, reach it up to the side, feel that stretch all through your opposite arm or opposite side of your your core and then come back to the center. We're going to reach to the other side. And come back to the center. I want you to interlace your fingers, bring them up to the ceiling, really stretching that out. You can bring your palms to the ceiling if you'd like. Reach up to whatever is comfortable to you. And then I want you to lower your hands nice and slow. What I want you to do now is just give yourself a big old hug, thanking yourself that you did this ex exercises today, got your body moving. All this is so good for your health and well-being. And so Health Team Advantage is here to help support that. Giving yourself a hug, thanking yourself, and then relax. I want you to do three deep, breathe, deep breathing exercises. I love deep breathing because it really helps calm us. So take a deep, deep inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. You can close your eyes if you'd like. Last one. All right. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, every Monday we do senior fitness. Uh, it's either myself or Jamie. And then every Friday, we do Facebook Fridays videos. So we have a YouTube channel, so check us out. We have short, quick little tips on different things, health and wellness. So I hope you check us out there, too. Um, I hope everybody has a great day, and we'll see you next Monday. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye, everybody.